angle subtended by a chord of a circle at the center and on the circle. In this activity, we will use paper folding process to understand what we mean by angle subtended by a chord at the center and on the circle. For this, I have taken a circular sheet. This is not a circle, this is a circular sheet, but the edge, this boundary of this circular sheet is a circle and we have marked the center of the circle. Let's say this as C. Now, first of all, using paper folding process, I will mark a chord on the sheet. So, what you do is take some small part of this circular sheet and along any two points anywhere, make a crease by folding the circular sheet along those two points like this. Now make a sharp crease so that the cord is visible in the paper folding crease. So you can see that I have got a cord of the circle. Now what I do next is I'll highlight this uh, chord uh, using this sketch pen and scale. So I'll join these two points on the circle. So I will get the chord that I received by paper folding procedure. Now I will uh, create another crease at this point and through the center. So for that very carefully I will use these two points. First the center. Let's make a small crease over here and then I'll make a small crease at this end. So now let us make a sharp crease by further pressing the paper along this crease. Now you can see that I have got basically a radius of the circle which is joining this center to this end point. I will also label the chord as AB so that it becomes convenient for the reference. So AB is the chord and I have created a crease along C and B that is the radius BC. Similarly I will make another crease along the point A and C. So again once again the same procedure I will use as I used earlier. Very carefully I will make a small crease first over here and then I will make another small crease at this end point. So then when I get the uh, crease over here, I'll use these two points to make a sharper crease. So you can see I am getting a very sharp crease at this uh, uh, point A and C. So I have created another radius of the circle that is you can see is CA. Earlier I created a radius CB, now I created another radius CA. So if I join these two radius, I will get the angle subtended by the chord AB at the center. So you can see that 
this angle ACB angle ACB is subtended is subtended by the chord AB at the center subtended so I hope this is clear now in the next part I'll use the same circular sheet to create a angle subtended by this chord AB at any point on the circle I can create on this part of the circle which we also called as minor arc uh, as the subtend angle subtended by this arc at the center is uh, smaller than the angle subtended by the remaining part at the center. So what I do is I will create an angle subtended by this chord on the remaining part of the circle by using the paper folding activity. So I first of all select one random point at any point on the edge of the circle circular dish disc so this is the this is the point I have created here I will join this point with this end point of the chord AB and then again similarly I'll join this point with this end point of the chord AB by the paper folding activity so I first create a small crease over here in the direction of this point and then I very carefully create a crease joining these two points so you can see slowly and gradually I am getting a good crease along these two points so let me press it sharply so what I am getting is you can see here uh, crease over here now let me uh, create another crease at this point and this point so in the direction of this line segment I will create a small crease first at the point A now when I have created this crease I will create another crease over here now very carefully I will fold the whole circular sheet along these two points so you can see I have created another crease so now let me join this and this crease using the scale and the sketch pen basically these are also chords but they are joined with the point B from this point Okay. So now similarly I will join this point with that point on the edge of the circle. Now let us call this point as D point. You can see that angle ADB angle ADB is subtended by the chord AB at the point D on the circle so this was uh, regarding angle subtended by a chord at the center and uh, on the remaining part of the circle or anywhere on the circle you can create the angle subtended on this major arc you can also create this on this minor arc this smaller portion of the circle or this the greater portion of the circle anywhere else if you wish you can create using this paper folding